Okay, so we've spent the last several lectures uh, talking about uh, can, uh, compact sets. And um, I'm going to, yep, okay, cool. Spend the last couple uh, of lectures talking about compact sets. And today what I want to do is uh, say a, a little bit more about compact sets. Uh, in particular, I want to talk about something called the Cantor set, which is a very interesting uh, subset of the real line. Uh, and then I want to talk about connectedness. So what does it mean for a set in the, re in the reals uh, or in any uh, metric space to be connected? Okay, so those are the plans for today. Uh, I just want to have you recall from last time. We uh, concluded our time by uh, discussing a, a theorem of Cantor, which basically says uh, the following had to do with an interesting property known as the finite intersection property. So um, the theorem said if you have a bunch of compact subsets, let's say k sub alpha, are compact subsets of uh, some metric space, x. And let's say that you have uh, the, the certain property that's true. If any um, finite subcollection of these sets has a non-empty intersection, then in fact uh, th the intersection of all the sets is not empty. So this is what's known as the finite intersection property. Sometimes uh, we'll just abbreviate this by FIP, the finite intersection property. Uh, and it's true for any collection of compact subsets of X. Okay, and we proved that last time. And in particular, uh, a very quick corollary that we mentioned last time is that suppose all these are um, nested uh, compact sets. So let's suppose you have KN, a sequence of compact sets. You have a sequence of compact sets that are nested, then in fact uh, the intersection of all these sets is not empty. So K intersection of Kn, n goes from 1 to infinity. Now what does this mean? This intersection means uh, basically look at everything that's in all the sets. Uh, this actually has something in it. I'll just say non-empty. Okay. okay. Um, one thing I want to mention today, which I did not mention last time, but partially answers a question that De Jenny asked last time, is uh, what is the connection with uh, closed sets? Is there a characterization of compact uh, metric spaces or compact spaces and closed sets? The usual definition of compact uh, compactness involves open covers. But there is a characterization of compact sets you could take to be the definition if you wanted that talks about closed uh, sets. Uh, sorry, compact compactness and closed sets. So uh, that's the following characterization. It's a theorem. So a space X is compact. Turns out this is equivalent to the following condition. It's equivalent to saying that any collection of closed sets any collection of closed sets, let's say I call these sets um, uh, D sub alpha, satisfies the finite intersection property. This turns out to be equivalent. What is the finite intersection property? Finite intersection property says uh, if, any finite if every finite subcollection has a non-empty intersection, then they uh, than they all do. Okay, so maybe I'll rewrite that here um, with the emphasis here that uh, um, if 
Maybe I should put the emphasis on every uh, finite subcollection. Uh, it has non empty intersection. Then uh, the intersection of all the uh, sets is non empty. So uh, w what does this mean? So if we have uh, a bunch of a collection of closed sets that has the finite intersection property, uh, and if that's true for any collection, uh, then, uh, then x is compact and vice versa. And did I? Let me just make sure that I wrote this correctly. So uh, x is compact if and only if any collection of closed sets any or every collection of closed sets ha satisfies the finite intersection condition. If every finite subcollection has a non-empty intersection, then, then they all do. So uh, let's just see why this is true. So the forward direction is, is pretty trivial based on what we've shown already. Why is that? Well, what are we going to choose to be our compact subsets of a metric space? We're going to assume that x itself is compact. And uh, maybe we'd like to use that theorem up there. So you give me a collection of closed sets. Uh, and I want to show that it satisfies a finite intersection property. Then what's, uh, what, what sets will I use in that theorem if I want to apply that theorem? Well, let's look at a, this. This theorem says look at a bunch of compact subsets of some metric space. Uh, and then the claim is that it satisfies a finite intersection property. Yes? OK. Well, now I'm starting with a collection of closed sets. That, that are li as, as in that theorem. Uh, and then I want to use something I already know, namely that that is true. So uh, how, uh, what, what would you like to use? Here this says talks, talks about a bunch of compact sets. These are closed sets, aren't they? Ah, yes, they're closed subsets of a compact space. So they are, in fact, compact. Okay. Uh, these are closed subsets of a compact set, space x, so they're compact. And now we can just apply the previous theorem, right? Apply previous theorem. OK. Everybody happy with that? OK. Now, uh, I claim the reverse is also true. And uh, I think I'm not going to prove this, but I'm going to let you do this. So this you can have fun with this. Here's, this is an exercise. OK, so if you have the case that any collection of closed sets satisfies a finite intersection property, then show that x is compact. Let's just talk through how the proof might go. How would you start a proof like this? Let's see. I want to show that every cover, open cover, has a finite subcover. That's what I want to show. I want to show this side, yes? So given an open cover, can I use this somehow? Given an open cover, are there any natural closed sets to look at? Yes, look at the complements. So given an open cover, look at the complements. The complements are um, a bunch of closed sets. Uh, and then 